Hi guys, you're watching RTV and exclusive interview with Dave Pierce. Hi, this is Mirek from RTV. Tonight we're hosting Dave Pierce from BBC One. Hi Dave, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, just chilling out, ready to go on here for the cream party and uh, looking forward to seeing all the mad freshers out there. <laughs> Is it your first time at in university? It is actually, yeah. Um, I've done lots of universities across the UK, but this is the first time I've gone to Stirling. So I'm a Stirling virgin and uh, waiting to see what's going to happen. We look at your lineup, uh, we see it's very tight, very busy, you're playing a lot, especially around the world. Uh, what do you expect tonight from Scottish audience? Well, I always enjoy playing in Scotland because the Scottish crowds are, are pretty good party people normally, fingers crossed, so that should be good. I think students, you know, it's Freshers Week, it's a very important part of people's lives, you know, it's going to be a week that they're going to remember for many years to come, so, you know, we want to make it a real party atmosphere and very euphoric and uh, lots of big tunes and big acts. <laughs> Do you play often at the universities or it's just a fresher week? We know that yesterday you played at the University of Abertay. Uh, how was the atmosphere over there? Yeah, it was good. Um, I'm actually just starting you know, my tour of university, so I've just finished Europe last week. And this is my second uh, UK gig actually since, since doing Europe all summer. Uh, and then I'm doing all around the UK um, the next couple of weeks. So yeah, it's going to be pretty fun, I think. Okay, um, do you have like favourite place where you like to play? I think um, from a DJ's point of view, obviously playing in Ibiza has always been a good place to play because people have gone on holiday there for the music. But um, uh, from a venue point of view, one of my favourites is the Ministry of Sound in London because the sound system is so amazing. When you're in the DJ booth, it actually it's so intense. You, it's like listening on a personal stereo. The, the clarity is just amazing, and you actually feel like you're in the record, which is which is really cool. Um, and this year I played in Thailand for the first time, um, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I played in India before, but I hadn't played in Thailand, and um, the Asian audiences seem to be really into like trance and sort of stuff that I'm playing. So, you know, I hope to go back and do some more stuff out there as well. Maybe tell us like who's your favorite other DJ who you really like to play? Uh, it's not a tricky question. Well, without wishing to upset anyone, I mean, there's so many great DJs that I uh, admire and respect. But one of my favorites is DJ Tiesto. Um, you know, there's always a special place in my heart for him. I was kind of helped him out at the beginning of his career, actually, with, with Radio 1 getting him his first gigs on there and stuff. Um, he did his first mix on there for me, and um, now he's gone to meteoric <laughs> success. But, you know, we still chat on the phone sometimes, and, uh, you know, it's amazing what he's done. So I have to, you know, uh, you know respect you know, his um, meteoric rise. And, uh, you know, it's been great for the music scene to have such a good ambassador around the world uh, with, with his skills. and. Uh, the way he's been embraced as well. Thank you very much for your time and we'll see you at Go. Okay, see you Thank you very much. School. All right then, cheers. Thank you.